Welcome to the vlog everybody. Here we are in Terengganu on a guided tour, road trip style, with our friends the Travel Grammars, as well as the tour guide company Ping Anchorage, and the famous fisherman Chris, the Matsalay, Malay speaking Matsalay fisherman. So we've got a full day planned today. We are now at a fishing village. We will go to some farms. We will go to something called the Turtle Stone. We will go to some beaches and also to a coconut plantation as well as I'm sure some unplanned stops at the last minute. Check out this really cool shipwreck behind me. Lots to see, lots to do, full day. Let's go. Alright everyone, we are at Kampung Jambu, Bangkok. Jambu is a fruit tree. I believe it is guava. It's the one behind me right here. That tree right there. And Bangkok means curve. So it's a beach town right here, a beach village. We're gonna explore it in a bit. But this morning we had a really, really nice coffee and breakfast we had nasi dagang at Teradala and Teradala it's a cafe slash gallery slash shop and soon they're gonna open up a boutique hotel there it's a beautiful space it is owned by the same owner of Terapuri Mr. Alex Lee <laughs> We had a really beautiful morning there and now it's time to explore this campo. Let's go. Check this out guys. You got a wall here to block the rain from monsoon season when the salty rain from the ocean starts coming. I guess you make it out of these leaves traditionally and in modern days you also make it out of old televisions. And here's another monsoon wall here just under construction still. You can see he's got all his materials here. I guess he's got like two weeks until monsoon comes. So he's just getting her ready. I tell you what, there's always something to do in the campoons or in the fishing villages. It seems like there's less luxury, but there's always a project going on. There's chickens running around. Lots of action. Less technology, less luxury, but I think more action and more fun in the campoons. Seriously, dozens of chickens here. <laughs> How do okay. Malay people? Um, Say the noise of the rooster. The noise? Yeah, in Canada, cock a doodle do. Oh, I see. In Indonesia, kukari you. Kukari you. Yeah, this way. You, when, you, when you mimic the uh, call. The, the rooster? We, yeah, yeah they, 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 not, not really. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I think Indonesian one is the version is the best one. You think so? It's the closest one. No, I think so, cockadoodle do. Cockadoodle do? Cockadoodle do? Cockadoodle do? Cockadoodle do? Cockadoodle do? Come on. Uh, pisang goreng. Pisang goreng. With a twist. With a twist. It is. I forgot what it's called, but it's more bitter than the regular Malay pisang. Try it. It's from uh, Thailand, I think. Thai banana makes it more bitter. Noticeably different or kind of the same? Different. You can taste it different. Really? Can I try? It's a little bit sour. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. I would say better. Yeah. More flavorful. The banana itself is flavorful. Right, right. There you have it. Always good food in the campoons. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do I need tapping? Set up. Set up. Any, any drink? Tapping? Tapping. Ah. She told you was. Whenever you say it's sit up, yeah. then you would have grabbed the second one. Ah. Uh, that's kind of the culture here. Like yeah. If you say it's really good and I'm, oh, I'm full, I'm really good, but oh, it's great. And it's really full, good, you should have you an extra would, one. You would take it ah, when you say sadap, you have so to So I shouldn't, take an extra I shouldn't one. throw that word around just willy nilly. Yeah. Sadap, sadap, and walk away. Yeah. Now I know. <laughs> she, she, now she, you know. She, she said if it was good, you take another one. <laughs> How much? Uh, Barapa. Berapa sama? Singgit lima persen. 
Terima kasih. So, what is it, Ma? Minum dulu. Minum dulu. Not dua. Rasa dulu. Try, try. Try, try. What is it? Looks like Tay Tarek. Tay Tarek? No. Tay Tarek. Dia kacau. Dia memang ada hidup. Manis. 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 Sedap tau. Oh. Oh, gini sedap baik. I think it's like Tarek, but oh, really sweet, so. really sweet. Say that. You want one? Uh, I'll get some of yours. All right. You okay, we get one more. Okay, uh, another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. There you have it. Three ringgits for two drinks. Probably my teeth are going to fall out because it's very menace. Very gula. That's okay. No regrets. Cheers. 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 Bing. Bamboo. bamboo, kind of sharpened at the end. Maybe, maybe for some kind of vertical pull. Ah, uh, collector pickup. So maybe he will, he will do something, ah. fencing or whatever. Yeah. So he found it on the beach, driftwood that he can use for construction. Wow. Very resourceful. That's right. In the camp rooms. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> I love exploring these little camp rooms. All the boats along the shoreline there, with the waves crashing. Super quiet place, people driving motorcycles around with no helmet. And it seems like every kampung, every property, has a construction project that's half finished. Always work to be done, improvements to be made in the kampungs. Honestly, I could probably hang out here all day. But I think it's time for our next stop. So we'll jump back in the bus and we will get going. All right, guys, the Malaluka forest in the rain, which is almost fitting the way the trees are growing out of the swamp. A little bit rainy, kind of feels right, almost eerie and beautiful, but sort of creepy, right? Spooky. Yeah, it could be uh, used as a horror movie set, but it's yes. really, really nice. It's imagine, so pretty. Ivana, imagine canoeing through the trees oh. at nighttime. I want that. With fireflies around? With wow. fireflies around. <laughs> All right, enough fun and games. Check this out. This is the stone turtle, the massive, naturally occurring rock formation that looks like a turtle with accompanying legend. So as the legend goes, there was a turtle up on top of this hill looking for a particular tree, following the scent of a particular tree, and it didn't make it back to the ocean in time. So the sun came out and he got turned to stone up on top of this hill. And what's amazing is the shoreline around here is where the now extinct leatherback turtle lays its eggs. So the legend is all the leatherback turtles would come up here to the shoreline to pay homage to their fallen comrade, the stone turtle. There you have it, very cool. Oh, look at Ivana got inside. Is this allowed? Let's go have a look. So there you have it guys. The head is what really makes it look like a turtle. The mouth, head and mouth combo. Very turtle-like, as well as the kind of back. Wish the roof was intact. Maybe the uh, spirit of the turtle just cannot be contained and it <sighs> demolished the roof. But there you have it, guys. The stone turtle. What do you say, Ivana? Like or no like? I like. I like. I like. Very cool. Good stop. There's a little poster over there with the uh, legend. You can come hang out and look at the turtle. 
Oh, sorry guys, I misspoke. The leatherback turtle is not extinct on the whole planet. It still exists in five or six places on Earth. It's endangered, probably critically endangered, but it does still exist. It doesn't exist around here anymore, and the locals believe the reason the, le the leatherback turtle doesn't come around here anymore is because people have been stealing rocks and misplacing them from the rock formation. That's why we've got walls on it now, protecting it. There you have it. All right. It's so. hot out here, guys. It's been raining off and on all day, yeah. and it's quite humid. No problem. Jet lag warriors. Hum <laughs> humidity warriors. Wow. Back to the bus, on to our next stop. All right, next stop. Lunchtime in a coconut farm. Ho oh, ho! This is cool. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Oh, look at the ladder over here. Time to eat. All right, guys, local style here in this Cancun. We've got uh, nasi puti, white rice, chicken curry, and uh, evidently you eat it with watermelon. This is not dessert. This is like the veggie you eat with the curry. So I'm not going to be shy. Two big pieces. We'll see curried watermelon. Curried watermelon. For lunch. For Very lunch. interesting. Very nice. Let's try it. Okay, so what I've done, Ivana, is I've actually chopped up the watermelon and mixed it in with the curry. <laughs> kind of weird. We are going to see what happens here. So as you can see, we've got rice, curry, and watermelon. Watermelon is crunchy, which is interesting, as well as super watery. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> it's edible. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste bad at all. It's watermelon. But it's just um, unexpected. First time. Unusual. First time. The crunch of the watermelon, when you bite it, it kind of just turns into water. So it's like almost like well, a almost like what? soup now. When you, you eat it, it turns into soup. We eat pineapple with curry, so why not watermelon? Well, pineapple has a very strong flavor. Watermelon has a very subtle flavor. Mm. So it's almost like having soup. It's just kind <laughs> of like water. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Let me try mine. Mm. Certainly edible. I don't mind it. Wow. I wouldn't say it's my favorite thing in the whole world, but Ooh. I don't mind. And the lady is making the ring for the uh, the sugar, coconut sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which probably with this gigantic machine right here. Right. So this is to make the coconut sugar. And, and then, then wrap it in this and serve it as like it a cake. In this palm leaf, I think. Very nice. Oh, look at the tool. Oh, Very God. smart. It's like three or four razor blades instead of each other. Wow. So you make them all the same width. Look at this. That's slick. Very nice. There you have it. Watermelon curry beside the lo local talented lady. <laughs> there you have it. So fast. <laughs> Very skillful, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Try it, Steve. Can I try? It's okay? Yeah. <laughs> You've been just standing here, I did it wrong, I broke it. <laughs> okay, okay, try it. Try, try, try. Gentle, gentle, gentle. So there's a cut in here. There's a cut? No. Where is it? There's a cut there, okay. Where's the other cut? Only one. This one. No, two cuts. Where? Oh, there, 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 there. Oh my gosh, you gotta be smart, you gotta be precise. Okay, okay. Ziggy, ziggy. Yeah? Okay. No? No, 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 no. Let's no. see. Let's see. No. Yeah. Okay. No. No? No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. No. Yeah. Can you do it? Sir? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's it. That's simple. Oh. Oh, so wow. that's the thing about the Cancun <laughs> ideas. They're simple but effective. It's never wow. super complicated. Like, so yeah. it's just very simple. Little cut. One cut on the left, one cut on the right. Put the cuts together. Chup, boop. All right. Just like that. Oh, and okay. uh, jewelry. Oh, okay. <laughs> very nice. Okay. Okay, okay. So I've done my part. I've done one. Again, she said. Only, uh, only 100 more. Okay, here we go. If you watch her do it, she's done in about three seconds. You watch me do it, I'm looking at it over and over again. <laughs> oh, good. 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 Okay. So 
you want the two oh, pieces that inside. Okay. That's what I did wrong last time. I had it, no. I had it layered the wrong way. I had them on the outside. It's got to be on the inside. It's got to be this way. Oh, like this? No. Oh, like no, this. Yes. Ah, yeah, I now I understand. <laughs> Capiche? So you don't do it like this, uh, right? Because uh -huh. if you do this, they're on, the, they're on the outside, and then it doesn't. It looks like this. All right. But if you go inside, you see. Mm. Now it'll stay tight, and okay. the outside is smooth. Nice. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. Boom, look at this. One after another. Yay. What's the big deal? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, boom. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're going to fill that up with this. Ooh. Which is, correct me if I'm wrong, Gula Malaka. Gula Malaka. Gula Malaka. Gula Malaka. Oh. By the way, guys, I made like 30 or 40 of those things. Good job, Steve. Not just one. Not just one. <laughs> Lots. Many, many. Okay, okay, okay. Even better. Good idea. Okay, do not splash this on yourself. I'm sure you will regret it. Looks like a, looks like a, a tool for the ocean. Or a river. Cooking with a paddle. I'll tell you one thing, the smell is intoxicating. Cool. Mm, to know okay. Now how do we get this in there, Ivana? Oh, the little bucket. Give me the bucket. Yeah. And you can make a circle. So fast. Watch your feet, it's gonna be on the floor. It's gonna be on the ceiling. It's gonna be on the walls. Okay. Okay. You gotta do it fast. Ooh. Ooh. Then I should do we'll do this one like this, okay? Maybe get one of those in there. Okay, <laughs> quick, quick. Zoop, 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 zoop. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it in here. Ah, disaster! Ah. That's coming out of my paycheck, I tell you that much. I messed up one. Gentle, fast but gentle. Fast but gentle. Okay. Okay? Push down. Steve, what are you doing, bud? More. That's a fail. That's a that's a C plus. Okay. This one more. Oh, look what happened here. Uh oh. That's a discount piece of Gula Malaka, okay. half price, half full. Okay. A little more here, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it again, Yvonne. This is going to be quick and smooth. You're going to say, wow. Okay, one last chance for you. And yet, somehow, I'm still better at this than fly fishing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like fishing. Oh, again, again. Oh, what did I do here? Okay, here we go. Six in a row. Five in a row. Zunga, 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 zunga. Okay. Manageable. Okay, okay. That was manageable. That's good. This is a hot job. All the heat in here. I'm sweaty. Yeah, I'm sweaty. 
She's a pro, man. She's a pro. Quick. She's a pro. More, more, more. Oh, who did these ones? Oh. Come on. You no, gotta be fast. Not. <laughs> what did she say? He said, This white guy stinks. Smart. He's good at it. Oh. Really? Fast yeah. learn. Wow. Hey, there you have it. She's checking world is soon you're going to open a uh, not sugar next ah. door. <laughs> <laughs> to become her competitor. Competitor, no, no. You can work for oh, her. More. <laughs> Quickly, before we tour the coconut farm, let's eat some of this uh, delicious treat here. I got a little peas, pieces of coconut. It's basically palm sugar. brown sugar. Pure coconut sugar. Tastes like sugar. Mm -hmm. Tastes like coconut, so yeah. Mm. Tastes um, like caramel. Caramel. We've had this before. Mm. Every time, it's always good. Mm. It should be good in um, coffee. coffee. Mm -hmm. See that we're in love, guys. Take coffee at the same time. <laughs> wow, eight years later. Okay, next stop, tour the coconut farm. plantation. Oh, look at this knife. Whoa, what is this for? Can I hold? Can I pick it up? This knife <laughs> is where where this uh, flower, flower, flower. Okay, let's say when you have a young flower, to to normally you pop down to make a container. Ah. So because why you, they shape like this? Yeah, it's so intricate. I don't know why. So this is the way. It's easy when they climb. So because uh, it's round, so they can cut slowly. Ah, yeah. Cool, nice. Chop? No. Oh, there you go. There's that knife. So it's quite sharp. It doesn't have even. Oh, look how sharp it is. Zanga. Hmm. I thought he was going to hack with it. Okay. No, it's sharp enough to slice. So that's how you get And that Nira. will drip into this thing. And then you get Nira, which, if I'm correct, is like a kind of vinegary. A uh, strong flavored drink. Yeah. Cool. There you have it, guys. So this is collected from this morning, and Ivana is gonna you go ahead and collect it. drink some milk. Oh, you need to ferment it and leave it for a while. But this is from this morning. It's this fresh. morning. Hmm. If I recall, it's like apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Cheers. This one is really sweet because I think it's fresh. Because it's fresh. Uh, I think when you leave it overnight, it will become more sour and more vinegary. Makes but sense this to one me. is really sweet. Makes sense to me. Because it's from fresh from this morning. Less vinegar, more sweet. Mm -hmm. Can I sip? Probably better right. than before. Let's try. The one we had last time was like, uh, let me make a funny face vinegar, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not vinegar at all. Yeah, this sweet. is like juice. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. So maybe if you left it for a couple weeks, couple months, whatever it is. <laughs> It would become little, very vinegary. A little bit of vinegar in there. A little bit. I'm, I'm remembering my days when I used to make uh, homemade root beer in, wow. uh, in, uh, in Africa. Wow. Feeling the same kind of flavor. Really? Yeast fermentation type thing going on. Homemade root beer in Africa. Wow. <laughs> the most interesting first, man who ever lived. The first time I've heard of that. <laughs> they have root beer there, so I was dying for root beer from back home. You know, I oh, wow. figured out cool. a way to do it. That's cool. There you have it, guys. So, you like quite it? better than before. Last yeah. time was like... Because this one is fresh. Fresh. Fresh cool. Nira. All fresh right. Nira, best Nira. <laughs> so tapping Nira is similar to tapping rubber. The way the groove is already cut, or in this case the stalk is already cut, you just shave off a little more and a bunch more stuff comes out. You don't have to sever a new branch every time. It's sort of just a little bit, a little continuation from before. Then you get uh, Nira. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the vlog for today. It's so funny that when we saw the itinerary, we were like, yeah, maybe it's enough for one vlog. <laughs> it's probably like 25 minutes. So much fun today. Yeah, such a great day exploring off, off the beaten track of Terengganu, near Kuala Terengganu. 
Yes! Wow. Special thanks to Ping Anchorage, amazing mm -hmm. tour company, and special thanks to our friend Chris, who's a fisherman guide, as well as a tour guide, as well as a interesting man. Makes root beer in Africa. Wow, if you guys want more info about this tour, check out the description. Absolutely. Favorite part of today? Probably, as per usual, the unscheduled stops. When we pulled yeah. off the side of the road, Alex, the tour guide, goes, Oh look, water buffalo, pulls over, and we just stand <laughs> over them. Ah, so nice. These are the spots only locals know. Yeah, That's exactly right. right. This mm -hmm. is why you need to travel with a local. That's uh, true. Learned a lot, saw a lot, did a lot, enjoyed a lot. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. And it's only like, what, not even 2 o'clock? Yeah, almost 2 o'clock. Almost 2, and we've done all these things today. Mm -hmm. So, special thanks to Ping Anchorage. Special thanks to Travel Grammars, our friends. Chris, our buddy. And, and Mr. Alex. Of course, Alex, the owner of Terra Dalla, Terra Puri Heritage Village. Incredible guy. And special thanks to you thanks the guys viewers. for watching we love you please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and follow us on instagram at jet like warriors i love you guys and bye bye see you again